like nobody's competing to reap fees. And as a result, the fees are very, very low. Like the cost to perform a transaction on the XRP ledger is like a thousandth of a penny, and they complete in seconds. But because it's not a competitive system, it doesn't have any way to sort of award fees to a particular party. Because although if it had a way to award fees to particular parties, people would compete for those fees, and it would become competitive. Uber, Bitcoin, self-driving cars. Combine those three together, and you have the self-owning taxi, a car that is a corporation that owns itself, pays for the car lease, the car insurance, and the gasoline from the revenues it makes, giving passengers a ride, and there's not a single human involved in that matter. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Again, we pulled back. Looking at cryptos and stocks, we have been flat. Yes, it's been a couple good days, but overall, we've been flat for the month of June. Now, we have the SEC warns investors of the rest with Bitcoin futures. Now, guys, how long have we been doing Bitcoin futures? We know Gary Gensler and the SEC, Janet Yellen and the Treasury are the Fed's chess pieces. Do not forget the crypto teacher advise you. Now, guys, we know we are the only game in town on the weekend. Remember to stay focused on the actual indicators volume, tether, and USDC. The Fed is very important on the weekend, guys, because this afternoon we're going to see how much money they're going to do. Make sure you look up the Fed app. Now they've increased it to about $500 billion. Remember, we're around the $400 billion range that they were doing on a daily basis. Now they've upped it to over $500 billion. So they're definitely going to put that money to work over the weekend. So just make sure, as we can see, the volume has left. When that volume comes back, make sure you're looking at the stable coins because that's going to let you know the direction that we're going to be headed. Also, guys, grayscale, the lockup period is going to expire the end of this month, beginning of next month. And then remember, the Bitcoin trust has been locked up this whole time. So, guys, do not keep your eyes off of grayscale. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. Again, guys, we're the only game in town. Definitely look out for opportunity for this weekend. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, guys. We have Jack Dorsey says he may integrate Bitcoin Lightning and Twitter or Blue Sky. Now, you know, on this channel, I always speak about Bitcoin Lightning working behind the curtain and then also Facebook Dam. Bitcoin Lightning is just like XRP and XLM. The only difference is, it's just solely for Bitcoin. Of course, XRP and XLM can move any asset at minimal cost, like David Swartz stated. They're not battling for fees like Bitcoin mining or Ethereum mining. Guys, it's basically to move payments frictionless plus cheap. How do you get the masses over to the fourth industrial revolution? You hang a carrot there. And we know that universal basic income is going to play a key role because that's how they're going to airdrop this free money. And what's the tool to help airdrop that free money? XRP and XLM. We know that the China's digital yuan is going to rise. We know the United States dollar is not going anywhere. It's just going to be tokenized, digitized. But in order to move those cryptos around the world, you need that protocol, and that's XRP and XLM. Please go check out my Society 5.0 videos, also the Belt and Road videos. The emerging markets are definitely about to rise. 
Now we have the IMF plans to meet with El Salvador's president. Now, guys, we know this is nothing but a movie. This is part of a plan. Now we know the El Salvador president would have already met with the IMF before he even made a decision like that. But we know the Hegelian dialectic has to be played. In order to get us to the fourth industrial revolution, the Hegelian dialectic, managing conflict, never solving anything. Remember, they create the problem. They wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And we know what the solution is. The fourth industrial revolution, everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. Now we have proposed New York Bitcoin mining ban watered down to allow green projects. And we know in the United States, we know the Fed is pushing the climate change agenda. All the money is going to be directed to renewable. And again, guys, this was all planned out. Only thing you have to do is do your research on the Rockefellers. They knew drilling all this oil, what it would actually do to the environment. And they made trillions of dollars, took over the globe with the oil. Now they're going to make another trillions of dollars moving the masses over to renewable. And lastly, guys, we have one of Framework Ventures says Uber drivers and their passengers own and operate a decentralized ride share network. And on this channel, I show you the truth. Nothing but the truth. Yes, the truth hurts, but what? It sets you free. And we know the Uber, all these autonomous vehicles that they're going to put on the road, Teslas, Waymo, these gas cars are going to be gone. Majority of people are not going to be able to afford an electric car. Before you even walk outside, your autonomous vehicle is going to give you that ride. And that free money they airdrop is going to pay for that ride. Majority of humanity is going to be taken out of this new fourth industrial revolution economy. Remember the crypto teacher told you. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, crypto teacher and the new road order book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, do not forget Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, got that own stocks to see, right? the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. We're going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols? Who un controls the underlying standards? of the future of money will control the future.